Sir Smoke, I'm not gonna play with you today. I'm so sorry, friend. Because I play so bad versus PBR. If I won PBR 4-0, uh, I would have gone and played against you. But look at the score. You see how bad I am? You see how bad I am? You can't be serious, Mr. Smoke. I'm playing so bad today. I haven't played since three days. Yesterday I casted you won versus Maru before tournament. I won against Maru, but I know myself I need to warm up before any challenge. You just want to win. You know that I'm weak at this moment. That's why you want to go against me, Smoke. You're taking advantage. You're a smart Ukrainian guy. You know that I'm very weak at this moment and you're going to face me now so you can beat me and go against Mr. Uh, Melfunter and then go uh, win against Mr. Mel Melfunter and after winning against Melfunter you're going to after winning against Melfunter you're going to beat Maru get the $50 and then win against Urbi get the $100 Mr. Smoke is very smart. He is very smart. He wants the money. Smoke wants the money. Smoke is smart and wants the money. Smoke is hungry for the money. Literally fuck. So tricky. Yeah, I know it. Warm up is wrong description. I need to warm up. You know, you'll notice the one versus one by warming up. Uh, Gurti, when you play one versus one, my friend, uh, when you play one versus one, you'll know that uh, you need to play one versus one before going to a challenge. You should, my friend, you should. You should warm up. Like, it's a tournament, guys. It's not a for fun game versus smoke. It's a tournament. It's. I went against Maru. I, I went against Maru and I lost 5-0 because I wasn't warming up. My skill changes so much. My, ch my skill uh, changes. I become noob if I don't play one versus one. And I become really good if I pl uh, play one versus one. You know, I do also 4v4. When I play 4v4, I become very bad in one versus one. This is okay. Do you think uh, we should get Boromir very early against uh, Dwarves? You will win. I don't think I'm gonna win top concept. I don't think. Mr. Smoke is the killer. I need to prepare to face this killer. I want to win. I'm planning to win against Mr. Smoke. Not to lose against him. I don't know this map. Why do you have to always get stock builder? Why? I can never build this in a good way. He's going for a battle wagon, our opponent. He's going for a battle wagon. Okay, he's going for a battle wagon. We need uh, maybe Faramir. Or maybe um, Boromir. Guys in the chat, pick a hero for us to get. We have resources and we should buy a hero. Which hero, Faramir or Boromir, guys in the chat? Boys and girls, which hero do we buy? And if we take the wrong decision, we're gonna lose this uh, challenge against PBR. So give us a hero, boys. Bionicle, uh, smoke, uh, what? Aragorn, what? No, what? To concept, Aragorn is very expensive, my friend. 
Aragorn is very expensive. Aragorn is very expensive. I don't know what to buy. Maybe Faramir, he's good against dwarves. Our resources run low. Oh yes, I this is what I wanted you to say. We want smoke hero. This is what I wanted to hear. We want smoke hero. Yoda is voting cheering for Mr. Smoke. I knew it, it Polish can never be trusted. I knew it, the Polish can never be trusted. Where is the rainbow? Faramir, I hope Faramir is gonna be a good choice. God, I have a feeling that Faramir is not the good choice. He is not what we should have uh, recruited. You can buy other hero. Battle Wagon is so good in this version. Yes, again. What? Again, that? Best? Yeah, again, that. Guys, you need to climb the ladder. Do you know what a ladder means in this game? You should recruit hero by hero. The cheapest, the better. The more expensive, the worst. If you buy, if you buy more expensive heroes, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, guys. Because just the expensive hero, the expensive hero is just oh shit. Wait, he gives leadership at level 3 Faramir? Lovely. Yeah, Faramir is so good versus dwarves because he gives leadership to only archers. Only archers, uh, Faramir gives leadership to only archers. On a small map like this, we need archers. Boromir gives it to the uh, swordman. This version bet uh, beta 4 is the best version and the smartest version ever made in my opinion. If you ask why, because it has critical decision in game. If you make wrong decisions, you're gonna lose. Like, Faramir is good with the archers, Boromir is good with the swordmen. Battalion ready! 
he has Faramir, um, King Brand. Okay, we can now buy another hero. Guys in the chat, which uh, hero should we buy now? Uh, okay, we're doing map control, we're holding him. But if we buy. If we buy a. Uh, Aragorn, we can buy Aragorn, I think. We can either buy Aragorn well done, my or maybe we shall win this Gandalf. After Gandalf, May horses maybe. Oh yes, let's get horses. But on a map like this, he can easily get phalanx. Gandalf a block it. Let's get Gandalf guys. I don't want any horses. We'll go for Gandalf instead of Aragorn. Gandalf is good against the dwarves. Shit, we lost everything in a second. In a second, we lost everything. Okay, we'll get also a few horses. Look at our command point. Zero. Gondor. We have work to do. 
He has Gimli guys, fuck. I don't know how to kill Gimli without Aragorn. Uh, we should recruit Aragorn, I guess. We should really recruit Aragorn. Did you see Gimli? Look at him. This is Gimli. And Gandalf cannot kill Gimli, I think. Can Gandalf kill Gimli? No, that's gonna be a stupid idea to try to kill Gimli with, by using Gandalf. Can Boromir kill him? Wait, Boromir actually did good damage to him. Full by Aragorn. If Aramir also can kill him. Uh, wait, no, what are you doing? Ooh, he almost killed our Ganda. Dwarves are very strong in the region. I stand as your captain. But we can do it. Keep your Steady. Keep up the pace. Come on. Keep up the pace. We can't lose him. Yeah, Gandalf is the one man army. True. What? He has King Dane even? King Dane and Gimli. Okay, he's focusing only on uh, on these dwarven heroes. We have Aragorn and Boromir. Can they beat uh, King Dane and Gimli? I don't think so. This map is bad, in my opinion. Uh, just a weird map. And uh, again, I feel very slowly. Let's get this house of healing. Honestly, I have a high chance of losing this game. Especially if the dwarves touch our fortress. Let's buy this one. Uh, ivory tower so we can see when the dwarves are gonna attack us with the vision around the fortress plus we're going to uh, get armor if the dwarves attack our fortress oh god we will buy this one at the same time we cannot kill Gimli there is Gimli, I don't see Gimli, I don't see Gimli, I don't see Gimli where is Gimli? Found Gimli. Can we kill Gimli? Aragorn cut the head of Gloin just like in the movie. I mean, King Dane. Uh, Cloud Break or Dunedain Summon. 
think we won this game. Guys, Cloud Break or Dunedain Summon. Very smart. Gertie is very smart. Cloud the break and Gandalf with the blast. I think we won because he just catapults uh, and we can finish this game. Wait, how did... Wait, wh what? Now you die. Cloud of Break doesn't sound this very strange. How did he get gaming so fast? To stay outside of the mouth. Our command point is always low. Very low always our command point. 500. This is a very weird map. I don't know why we are playing it. Our command point 450. It's getting better, it's getting better. Level 2, not scary. No bubble shield, really?
Okay, let's play against Mr. Smoke now. We warmed up. Uh, I'm kidding. I'll still lose against you, Smoke. Let's do it to...